It is a featherweight championship showdown between Alexander Volkanovsky and Yair Rodriguez. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. And now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Rodriguez is 27. Volkanovski is 31. Rodriguez is five inches taller. The reach is the same. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introduce your first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, yeah, El Pantera Rodriguez! Now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting.
All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this sport. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big punch land. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice land there by Yair Rodriguez, DC. There are so many different layers and dynamic strikes in the arsenal of Yair Rodriguez. The opposition just never knows what's coming. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Oh, nice right hand. And they are exchanging leather early. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Yair Rodriguez. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. A oh, hook to the head by Yair Rodriguez. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Oh, nice counter right hand. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Volko. Trademark inside leg kick there by Rodriguez. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovsky will change levels and Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And both guys really... His opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Blocks that kick to the body. Rodriguez gets touched by that kick there. Oh, nice straight left. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Oh! Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. So there's the end of the round. You see the cut on.
on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time, maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut, but a definite source of adversity here after this round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, here we go. Round two, it is Alexander Volkanovsky versus Yair Rodriguez. Well, he's the taller fighter, and will land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. The slip, and then the counter by Yair Rodriguez. Beautiful head kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Strong defense there to block the shot. So 63 total strikes have now landed for Yair Rodriguez. And just 42% accuracy in terms of the land rate against Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Circling to his right. Big punch land. Ooh, Ooh head kick lands. Oh. oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And he continues to work the body here. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Just missed with the left there. Powerful leg kick land. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Nice punch by Volkanovski. Mixed martial arts. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that save because he shot many takedown attempts and he finally has secured one. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Back mount now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Rodriguez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. So a much different approach from him here. Just right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Again, shoots for a takedown. Not there once again. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Well, it's one thing to have length 
it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Rowe. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. He got a bang! Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Rodriguez's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Throws the right hand there. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Yair Rodriguez. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Rodriguez. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Rodriguez. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Now it's his mount. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Volkanovski.
that guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Attacking on bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So on the strength of a monumental submission win tonight, the celebration is on for the UFC featherweight champion of the world, a most deserving king of the 145ers. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of the third round for the winner by submission. And still, the undisputed UFC featherweight So there he is, came in the champion, and he will exit that way as well. The UFC's king at 145 pounds. This dude might be the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. He may just be the best fighter across all divisions inside the octagon. His skill set is so complete that he makes these great fighters look as if they don't belong in there. Based in